What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. You got me, Salmon, here today, and we are over here at Derailly Performance. I just learned how to say it. Literally, my entire life been saying derail. It's not. It's Derailly. Now you guys know that too. We got Cam. He's gonna give us a tour. What's up, guys? What's up, dude? How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me out. Awesome. Absolutely glad to have you here. We gave you a little showcase of what we do, how we uh, contribute to the automotive world, and show you some of our uh, production area. Awesome. So what do we have in here? The, in our waiting room, we got a couple display boards showing electric fans, belt fans, uh, fluid coolers, transmission pans, a little bit of everything that we make, but primarily we're geared around automotive cooling. So keeping transmission cool, radiator running at the right temperature, all that good stuff, oil if you're running a turbo or a supercharger application, we just keep you from in getting too hot. That is pretty much the most important thing because we all know when your fluids start to get too hot, it's when it starts to cost you a lot of money. Number one killer in automotive. So we like to try and make everything last as long as possible here. And what I think is really cool about most of your products are they're universal. They're not very specific specific. Exactly. So pretty much everything that we do here with the exception of maybe eight items, it's all universal fit. It'll fit any application. Uh, it's just a matter of a little fabrication, a little imagination and you'll get it to work on just about anything you got. Awesome. So I guess take me around, show me what we got. Beautiful. So in here we got main office where a lot of the day-to-day -day, uh, operations are done. Let's cover sales, product development, purchasing. But then if we go in on the right is our R&D uh, test fit room where we come up with all the new products. Engineering gets a lot of testing done. They're actually out in the shop uh, messing with a few new products right now. And then in on this room, we have our tech support facility with one of our techs, Andy. What's up? In uh, here, former tech myself, we help everyone with installs, sizing coolers, figuring out pretty much anything along the way. So if someone calls you guys, you're not picking up across the world, it's Andy or someone like yourself. Exactly. And That's cool. We're within 100 yards of pretty much all the stuff built in the USA, probably in Los Angeles. So it's, it's still a USA oriented company, which is awesome. That is really cool. That's one of my favorite parts about any brand is when almost everything is made here and uh, you guys are one of those. This day and age, it goes a really long way. And uh, so we got a couple showcase cabinets, just all the history of the company from when it started being chrome plating and moving into automotive cooling and all the other steps that were between the way. But we also like to showcase what we've been a part of. We've been on Grave Digger and pretty much everything in Monster Jam. Uh, cover a lot of the Bonneville salt cars, uh, autocross cars, local dragsters, even farm truck and Asian. Um, I mean, really, if it has well, yeah. two, four wheels and goes fast, we've been there and helped out with it. So. That's awesome. Uh, and then coming outside, we can show you our extremely busy shipping area right now. Ooh, product. I like to see products in, in stock these days, especially these days. These days, it's a rare <laughs> one. And, uh, some products we got, as you can see, palletfuls of. We're yep. just trying to get caught up on back orders and all that fun stuff like you see across the industry right now. We got tons of pallets getting ready to ship out today. Uh, go to all the local WDs, uh, retailers, pretty much anyone that sells automotive. Yeah, I mean, you guys are literally available everywhere. I mean, I see it Pet Boys, AutoZone, O'Reilly's. Exactly. Yeah, plus I mean, the big guys, Summit, Jags, whoever. Pretty much if they sell anything for a vehicle, we try and be sold there. Yeah. So, and this is a warehouse right here. <laughs> nice and uh, organized. We've gone through a lot of restructuring to get as much product in here as possible. But you, know, you can see just piles and aisles and racks. I mean, it, as much finished goods and raw materials as we can get shoved in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is actually even light. I mean, if you came here before pandemic, most of these shelves would be probably 98% full. I mean, more often than not, everything's ready to ship at a yeah. moment's notice. It's the best worst year ever, right? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's like, we can't keep it on the shelves. Literally, we can't keep it on the shelves. <laughs> uh, looking at the shelves and then looking at how we're having, the last three months, we've had our best sales numbers ever consecutively. And it's probably getting better. 
Yeah, <laughs> it, I mean, it almost makes no sense when you see how little we have here. But it's, I mean, we're able to get product out, get it to people who need it. Um, I mean, everyone being stuck at home, seeing a, a huge increase of people just doing their own work or trying to learn or even start a, a project for the first time. Because yeah. usually it's always been time versus money. Exactly. Everybody has no time. They had the money, but they didn't have the time. Now it's work from home, so you got the money and you got the time because you can work in your garage. You're forced to have the time. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, now stuff is starting to finally open back up, but that's great. Yeah, I mean, definitely nice. not a bad way to, to spend a year and a half of being stuck at home. No, working on a hot rod, definitely not. Exactly. Sweet. So this covers, I mean, most of the, like I said, the finished goods, the bulk product that needs to be assembled for different cooler assemblies or whatever it might be. Okay. But most of the, the materials are over here. And then when we move on to the other side of the warehouse, we got all of our assembly for, like I said, the belt fans we assemble in-house. Uh, tube and pin coolers are all brazed in the back. We can show you that later. Yeah. We actually just recently moved our electronics department from Santa Fe Springs up to here. Nice. So that's all assembled in-house for um, you know, fan controllers, lights, logic modules, all the important stuff going to have to speak up a little bit in here just because it's everyone's working hard but yeah our receiving department down there where everything comes in starts the journey going throughout the whole warehouse they've been busy just like everyone else back here but uh we can take you around show you a couple of the different areas and yeah that'll be cool a better feel uh, got all of our operations and production management to oversee, make sure everything's moving smoothly, meet any requests needed, just keep it flowing smooth. But uh, these couple guys over here, this is where we do all of our assembly. So right now they're working on radiator fan shrouds, and uh, looks like both radiator fan shrouds. So we do that, our remote coolers are all, all done here. And again, it's probably assembled in USA. Got these guys working hard. You can see tons and tons of fans. These are some nice thick boys right here. They are. These are some of the strong ones we got. Nice two-speed fan with the three wires. These guys actually are the, the best flowing fans that we have. 17 inch, uh, 2400 CFM. I mean, it's a lot of airflow for a fairly compact area. But we try and get the most airflow out of any uh, package size that we can. Gotcha. So that covers that. Uh, we have on the pacer side of the, the company, they do uh, cab lights, rubber fender flares, uh, uh, like an on term. It's uh, like rubber protectors. Okay. So you don't get someone door dinging you in the oh, parking yeah, lot. Oh yeah, the shift on the side of the door. Exactly, all that kind of stuff. Nice. And my thing. dad uses those on his truck. <laughs> those things are a lifesaver. They are. Especially if you care about your truck and yeah. you got that nice paint job. It just, it goes a long way. It does. But that's all cut and done here in house. Uh, even the rubber hose for our cooler kits. So they got preset templates. Everything is pulled out, cut the exact length. So we get a, a certain level of repeatability. It makes it easier to mass produce the items at accurate scale. For the most part, we don't really have any issues with uh, you know, shortages. We get a lot of companies where people say, oh yeah, you said you give me this kit, but I'm four inches short of whatever it is. Because of the setup here, it's, it limits the amount of that happening. Cool. Some big old shears right here. Oh yeah, we got some big presses for the uh, all the aluminum components, the, the fan hubs, the blades for the fans, uh, even the fins on these coolers, which are actually being brazed back here. Uh, the brazer is currently getting some more things ready for assembly, but these are getting ready to get pressure tested, flow tested, and then we'll send them out for a uh, powder coat. So each and every single one of these are, each and every one of these are handmade and, and then tested. Yes. Nice. Yeah. All so if something fails when a customer tells you it fails, the majority of the time it didn't when it left there. Exactly. Yeah. Our, our quality control is very tight on everything. Um, all, the, 
all of our fan controllers, we actually quality control check twice. Nice. So that's a big deal. We want to make sure that everything's perfect when it goes out the door. Just to keep everyone accountable, make the customer happy. Uh, and just, it's easier all the way around. Last thing you need is a fan controller to fail on a road trip or something. Exactly. And you're stuck in the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get an angry call and that's the last thing anyone wants. Yeah, absolutely. So here, this is the brazing section. Yeah. Nice. Can so we see how he puts one together? Yeah, you, you can look at, they're doing a fin assembly right now. So uh, our brazier is actually out for the moment. Okay. But uh, I mean, we can show them getting you know, everything put together. Yeah. And then uh, obviously the brazing disc would be the final step. So Sweet. We can walk on over here. Yeah, I'll follow you. Uh, Mind if we watch you for a minute just to get some video of assembly? Okay. That is too cool. Yeah, I definitely got it down to a science. Hell yeah, he's better than a robot. Oh yeah, that's the best part. It's all hand assembled. Everyone's local, so I mean, it, it's really a, a very close company that way. Nice. So we'll come back on over here. So, we got old school presses from when, back when it was a chrome plating company, and we used to do the local uh, license plate covers or the frames, and a lot of small automotive trim. So, uh, these are still around, got repurposed for the local stand. All the different components that we make now, yeah, they've just been repurposed to keep the uh, keep producing for us. Yeah, and then it's, uh, the big ticket right now is everyone's working on the tube and fin coolers just because it's such a big. It, it's a highly demanded item, so yeah. that's the the main thing right here. So that's how we our, test all of them. Yeah, we're doing our pressure check. Nice. We get submerged in water. Check them for any bubbles. So they're all checked to make sure that it's perfect phrasing, no pinholes or anything funny like that. Yeah. Uh, typically, we also test our transmission pans back here. Okay. And because those have the cooling tube also, they'll braze it, powder coat it, and then submerge it, check for any air bubbles, make sure it's a perfect seal before it gets packed and sent out. These machines are monsters. Cover a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> Working on fan blades for some of our flex fans. Just cleaning up the edges, making sure nothing sharp or getting ya. Nice. Uh, these are actually got some of our cooling tubes for the transmissions with the little turbulator in there. Huh. I have everything pre-categorized, ready to go, so it's the number one thing is just efficiency. We like being able to have anyone even just get a temp when we need the extra help, be able to just show them this number goes here, you're able to roll, it keeps it really simple, and it just, again, it maximizes production. Yeah. So, for the most part of assembly, that's a lot of the big point, but then we also have our machine shop right here, which is definitely the, uh, one of the bright areas of the company, along with the machinist himself. Uh, he's been around for the last 10 years with us directly, but he does a lot of the casting components to all of our filter mounts and a lot of these components. He will machine, retouch, um, let's see, cast made in USA. He actually casts a lot of these right next door in 200 feet that way. It's, uh, you dropped the ball bearing. Those are that is for our pressure relief model. Got a few different ones of those. Uh, and then, like I said, he'll go through, tap, thread, cut everything. I mean, it, there's always something going on here, as you can tell with the mountain of shavings on his uh, bench. Oh yeah. But I mean, covers it all. He'll check the fan blades, make sure they're balanced, spin right. Uh, check the riveting, really covers everything, but he's a big asset to the company. So That's he awesome. uh, goes a long way in making sure that we work well. 
It's important. Moving through here is all of the assembly. So getting the packaging, uh, coolers put in boxes, making sure that all of the correct components are there. Uh, everything's actually counted out when you bring it out, so it limits the chance of something not being there. Okay. Um, I mean, everyone likes to say, oh, I didn't get this or that in the box. We count, if there's 50 of this cooler assembly being made, then everything is counted out exactly 50 when it's brought over. Any extra part, and then you gotta open it up, go through, and find where the missing uh, piece is. Yeah. So, I mean, again, quality control. It, it's we just try and really cut down and make sure it's as precise as possible but for the most part we have hardware kits uh, all the individual components getting ready for assemblies the finished with packaging uh, a couple extra tables for when our second shift comes in and that's something we actually recently started uh, this probably actually this calendar year the last few months just because the back orders got to be so much, we had to bring in a whole second shift that works from 2 to 10 o'clock at night. Oh, wow. Just to really cut down and make sure people don't wait you know, months on end for their product. Yeah. So. Well, it's great to hear when companies are doing stuff like that for us, you know. Because at the end of the day, that's what you guys are doing is you're making cool products for us. And what I love about doing tours like this is, you know, usually I walk into my parts store. All right, I need a trans cooler. I buy one. Don't think about it twice. But then you come here and you see, wow, 30 people have to touch that part for it to be at that store for me to be able to just walk in and buy it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I wish things were slow enough that we could actually do that process where it's, okay, we're gonna follow one cooler the whole way through. Because I mean, it, like you said, there's a lot of people touching it, everyone's hands on. And it's, I mean, at the end of the day, we just wanted to get it out to the customer, get the people who need it. Mm -hmm. Because last thing we want is to be the reason that someone's project is held up and they miss the first cruise with it or car show or whatever it might be. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, the whole point of building these is to get out there and enjoy it. Yep. And we don't want to hold anyone up from that. Absolutely. So this is, pretty much covers the majority of production. Um, we do have our parent company down at Santa Fe Springs and they do a lot of stuff there, but for the Doraley end of the stuff, this is, this is pretty much it in this awesome. warehouse. Well, where can people check you guys out? Uh, we have our all of our social media, Doraley Performance, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, um, our website, Doraley.com. Uh, our phone number, if you have any tech questions, 323. 266-3850, extension 235. Uh, emails on the website, but that's deep, uh, tech, at, tech support at usmotorworks.com. That's our parent company, but pretty much the really performance anywhere you go and that'll find us. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna go, I got the drone here. I'm gonna try to fly it around over here, get some cool footage for you guys. Pick you back up in a second.
right, hope you guys enjoyed that drone footage. That's pretty cool, able to fly around inside there. And then now we got one of the, I guess a company Bronco or a friend's Bronco. Company friend. One of the uh, people that store some of their personal cars here, they rent a spot in the yard. Uh, got an old school Bronco with a, uh, I believe a 351, backed by a uh, C6 in it. Actually running one of our heat sink coolers up here. Got that, got one of our fans. He, uh, we like to support him, he supports us. He's definitely a nice guy, but. A, Looks uh, like he actually wheels it too, which that's what I like to see. Yeah, it's Dude, this thing is nice. It's so funny, yesterday I was at like a, like a Bronco Bronco shop and the difference from like, Broncos that people built to wheel versus Broncos that they take occasionally places. It's so funny. Yeah, I mean, it's, this thing you is can't super even compare cool. them because no. it's just so different. This one is super cool. Awesome. Thanks for showing it to us and I'll pick you guys back up in a second. We got the hood open. The 351 looks nice and clean in there. It's got Willwood Master on it. This thing is set up. So we just finished up over here at the Rally. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was really cool to check out what these guys have to offer. And uh, like always, if you can, like the video. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any questions, comments, drop them down below. And make sure to check these guys out, the Rally Performance. We'll see you later.